your poem, Henry. Ha! This'll really gross him out. This poem is called Better Out Than In. Pirates puke on stormy seas. Giants spew on top of trees. Blah. Kings are sick in golden loos. Dogs throw up on daddy's shoes. <laughs> Babies love to make a mess Down the front of Mum's best dress Thank you, boy I think you've made your point Oh, but I haven't got to the good bit yet Obviously You still have bathing, up-chucking, gagging, retching and regurgitating to go Now sit down I threw up in a boat once I threw up in the car I threw up on my teddy Silence! You will all stay for detention after school is finished. Oh. Now it's time for the next lesson. Music. Follow me. Looks like I'm going to have to turn things up a notch. Can anyone tell me what music is an expression of? Music is an expression of who we are. That's right, Brian. Now, I want each of you to pick up the instrument in front of you. Silence! Double detention after school has finished! It's so easy being me. I'm hard, Henry. Wonder how this works? Moody Margaret. <laughs> I have just about had enough of you. What more? No ifs, no buts. We are leaving right now. I am never coming out shopping with you again, Henry. You could have got into serious trouble. Madam, you forgot the trousers. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, Madam, uh, could there be something in your bag you haven't paid for? Um, uh, no, I don't think so. May I take a look? Yes, of course, but, um, uh... Can you explain this, madam? 
Oh, well, you see, it was Henry, and, uh, oh dear. No, no, please don't take my mummy away. Don't send her to prison. Please, please. It was me. I put it in her bag because I wanted her to buy it for me. It was my fault. Well, I can believe that. It's so easy being me. I'm Henry. <laughs> Come on, swap! Henry, I know you're in there. Time's up. Miss Buzzleaxe. Which is worse, no knickers or pink knickers? Henry! Come in! So, Peter tells me you're taking him to the dentist? Uh, we got lost. Nearly lunchtime, Henry. See you outside. I need the yellow. Get your own! Give it here! <laughs> Margaret, you can stay in at lunchtime. Oh, this is all your fault. Yeah, lunchtime! Stay in! Great idea! Henry! Did you do that? Yes, miss. Uh, shall I stay in at lunchtime? It wasn't Henry, miss. It was me. And me? Yes? You too, Bert? I don't know. It's so easy being me. I'm Henry. Oh, whatever it was, it wasn't my fault. <gasps> Oh, no, Henry, you haven't done anything wrong today. I've got someone here who wants to meet you. <gasps> this is Mr Snapshot from the Big Book of Weird and Wacky Records. Hi there, Henry. Call me Sam. We think you're about to break a record. Me? Uh, what record? Well, according to my notes, you got your hiccups at 9.30 this morning and you've been hiccuping at a constant rate ever since. We estimate that you have hiccuped 9,389 times. Four more. And you've got the town record. You mean, I could be a record breaker? <gasps> Three more to go. So, we need a picture of you for next year's cover. And there's 50 pounds of prize money too. Oh, wow! I'm going to be rich and famous! <gasps> Let's go outside, shall we? I want to get a photo of that record-breaking hiccup. Whenever you're ready, hiccuping Henry. Out here? Henry? Uh, no. Oh, oh, your mum said he was here. Ruff. What was that? Um, uh, I didn't hear anything. Ruff. Ruff. Someone's calling me. It's just a dog barking somewhere. Oh, okay. <laughs> See you later, Squirt. Phew, that was close. Come on, Basher. Let's get you out of here without mum seeing. <laughs> Let's go! Oh, just pray Mum isn't looking. Huh? Henry? Peter? Uh, uh, yes, Mum? Henry? Who's that 
with you. Ralph! Oh, hello, Ralph. I thought you'd gone. to be very... Clever? Yeah. Ah, Henri! Bonjour! Beautiful day, isn't it? You could say that. Sammy, why did you steal my stamps? Oh, thank you, Peter. So easy being me, I'm You are a wolf in sheep's clothing. A power-packed Peter bent on punishing the pack. Go, Peter, go! Ah! I'm sorry. I just can't do it. you to carry my bag, do my own work, write me a sick note and wear this ridiculous hat. That all right with you? Um... Thought so. So easy being me, I'm Henry. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Oh! 
One, two, and you four, five. to call you. You can call me Peter. Peter? What kind of a name is Peter? It's perfect. That's what it is, Henry. Huh, says you. Night, Henry. Night, worm. Night, old friend. For that chocolate spread. It's okay, pal. You can open your eyes now. Where am I? Amongst friends. I'm Bernard 24. Bernard 37. Bernard 48. Bernard 22. What number Bernard are you? I'm not Bernard. <gasps> no, Not put it. So easy being me, I'm hard and weak. Hey, watch it! You're gargling your germs all over me. Don't be silly, Henry. Hey, worm. Just washing my hands, Henry, to get rid of the germs. <laughs> Not sure washing your hands will get rid of all the germs in here. Why don't you try it, Henry? I've heard it's as big as a javelin. Oh, <gasps> what is? The needle, of course. It's as long as my arm. Whoa. Says who? What did you say? I said the bigger the better. Double? Who uh... Yeah, cos you're so brave, Henry. Yes, I am. Brave enough to go and find out if I have to have an injection. Ha! <laughs> brave enough to go and get a sweet more like. I really don't think I want an injection. No, I really don't think I want one. No need to worry, Andrew. No one got an injection yesterday. And everyone got a sweet. <laughs> That's a good thing, William. I know. Some people got more than one sweet. A total of 30 chocolate moon fizzlers and 55 orange firsts were handed out. That's a lot of sweets. That's cool. Just got to get there before everyone else. Good morning, class. Good, good morning, Miss Battleworks. As you know, today it is our class's turn to visit the doctor. Now, I don't want any of you to worry. Brian, I believe you have some statistics on this. Oh, yes, Miss Battleaxe. Statistically, only 0.1% of the class will have to have an injection. Thank you, Brian. So, who's going to be the first to volunteer? I see. Well then, off you go. <laughs> Everyone except Henry, that is. I understand you were late this morning, Henry. Um, yes, Miss Battleaxe. Because? I had to change my shirt, Miss Battleaxe. I see. You were late because you had to change your shirt. Yes, Miss Battleaxe. It wasn't my fault, Miss Battleaxe. Somehow, I don't believe you, Henry. 
Ah, Boudicca, could I have a word? Certainly, Miss Oddbud. You may go to see the doctor, Henry. It's so easy being me. I'm hard, Henry. Next. We will fight them in the treetops. We will fight them in the mountains. And we will fight them in the fairy rings of old. And we will never, never, never give up! Bravo! Bravo! Well done, Andrew! Oh! I got the part! Yay! Yeah, go team, Andrew! <laughs> I got the too! <laughs> I got the fairy princess! Phew, lucky escape! Um, what did you say, Henry? Uh, I said lucky you! Oh, <gasps> thank you, Henry! And remember, children, to make your voices loud and clear. Now remember, if you forget any of your lines, I'll whisper them to you. Good luck! What a cold, dark day this is for the kingdom of the fairies. But we must face these times together! It's great! We dance around the fairy ring, the fairy ring, the fairy ring. We dance around the fairy ring. La 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 la. Come on, that's not me up there. The tides of fate have turned against us. Oh, where shall we fly to, sire? 